Hey everyone, welcome back. So guys, in this video, you will learn a new automation which will let you pay your bills timely and manage your finances properly and efficiently. So guys, here we are going to integrate QuickBooks application with WhatsApp. So guys, QuickBooks is an accounting application and we are integrating it with a messaging app which is WhatsApp in such a way that as and when you create a new bill in QuickBooks, the notification of that bill will be delivered to a person on WhatsApp automatically which is going to pay the bill and review the bill. Okay. So here the use case is, let's say you are a person who is responsible for procuring things in your company and you are placing orders uh, for many things on regular basis and you want to update to your boss or your manager or, any, or to any person who is going to pay those bills on the WhatsApp. Okay, so you just want that whenever you create a bill, a notification will be delivered to the concerned person. For this, we have created this automation. You can see on my screen now. This is how it is going to work. As in when a new bill is created in QuickBooks, a message will be delivered to a person saying him or her that a new bill is created for this purpose. This is the amount. This is the due date and etc. Right. So you do not you do not have to manually send these notification messages and it will save your time and your energy as well. So guys, we are using Pabli Connect to make this happen, which is an integration and automation tool. And the best part is anyone can set up this automation very easily without any coding knowledge or programming skills. So let's set up this automation together. So to set up this automation, guys, first of all, you need to reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect application. And to reach here, you can use this link pabli.com slash connect. And from here, you can set up your free Pabli Connect account in just two minutes by clicking on this sign up free button and you will get 100 free automation tasks for every new month. OK, so sign up right now and then log in to reach here on this dashboard. And guys, here you have to create a workflow for that. Just click on this create workflow button and here you can give a suitable name to this workflow. So here I'm giving the name as QuickBooks to WhatsApp automation okay right so after giving the name like this you just have to click on this create button and you can see your workflow page is getting created here okay and on this page guys you will find these two things so the first thing is trigger and this is action so with the help of these two things we are going to build this automation so the trigger is that event which is going to trigger or start this workflow and the action would be the response towards the trigger. As in this use case, the trigger would be creation of a new bill in QuickBooks and the action would be to send a notification message of about that bill on WhatsApp to a person. OK, so first of all, we need to set up this trigger. So from this choose app field, choose QuickBooks application as a trigger application. OK, here it is QuickBooks online. OK. Right. And the trigger event would be a new bill. Okay. So it will trigger when a new bill is added, select it, then click on connect. And from this window, select add new connection and then click on connect with QuickBooks. All right. And from here, you can see that's how it is going to be connected. Okay. So as I have already logged in in QuickBooks, we got connected here. Uh, if you are not logged in, it can bring you to the login window from where you can log in and connect. OK, and here you can see it is written here every eight hours. So this trigger will check for the data in every eight hours. This means uh, if you are going to create a bill, this workflow is going to is going to keep checking in every eight hours if there is a new bill in QuickBooks. And if it finds that there is a new bill, a notification message is going to be delivered on WhatsApp. OK. So here, uh, let me create a new bill in front of you. Then we are going to click on save and send test request and the date of that bill will be fetched here in this response. OK, so here, guys, you can see this is my QuickBooks applications dashboard. Here we have this new button. Click on new and under the vendor section, we have this bills option. Click on bill. <clears throat> And this page will open up here. You can create a bill for any of your chosen vendor. So here I have already added a vendor. This is magnet brains <coughs> selected. These are the details of uh, this vendor. And let me fill a due date of this bill. 
let's say 30th of July okay and you can provide a tag also so you can provide a tag here let me provide the tag as mm, new cameras okay so that you can know which for which purpose you are creating this bill okay you can attach a memo you can attach a attachment here you can add a memo and the category of this thing is uh, you can select the category in which you are creating the bill and expensive items I am selecting this one for long term office equipment okay select this okay here you can provide the description video cameras okay DSLR here you can put the amount like this okay and now click on save and your bill will be created and will be saved here like this so right now we have two bills here first bill is for desktop computers that I have created previously and right now I've just created this bill a new bill okay so here it is showing the total amount okay right so we have created a bill and here now let me click on save and send test request and you can see now that in this response received section we got these details it is showing the vendors address okay and here it is showing the created time of the bill it is showing the currency details now us dollars and here it is showing desktop computers that was a previous bill that's a long term office equipment and uh, with that the new bill i have created is showing up here video camera dslr okay so we got the whole data of both of the bills so guys right now we have the whole data of both of the bills but in real time when this workflow is going to run it will fetch the data of that bill which is newly generated in the span of 8 hours this means after setting up this automation in the next 8 hours whenever a new bill is generated the data of that will be bill will be captured here okay so here we got the data of a bill and now I want to send a reminder message or a alert message to any person regarding this bill on WhatsApp. Now to send a message on WhatsApp we need to connect WhatsApp here in this action step and to connect with WhatsApp we need to have the access of WhatsApp's API or application programming interface. So to get that access I am going to use WhatsApp's own cloud API platform and before using that here you have to connect your number with the whatsapp's cloud api and if you want to know how to do that you can watch the video from the description where we have explained thoroughly how you can connect your number with the whatsapp's cloud api and start using it here okay <clears throat> so here guys uh, you can watch the video after that you can search for whatsapp cloud api here here it is selected okay and the action event would be send template message then click on connect and from this window select add new connection if you are making the connection with the cloud api for the very first time okay and here it is asking for the permanent access token of your cloud api setup the phone number id and the business account id so if you want to know more about these things and how to make connections you can just click here on this here word written in blue and you will reach the forum page of pavli and here you will find uh, these two videos first so the first video is for setting up your cloud api inside public connect second video is for generating the permanent access token you can watch these videos from here and follow the instructions and after that you will find these steps along with screenshot to make the connection with the whatsapp cloud api in the trigger and in the actions okay so you can learn about it from here only <clears throat> And for these things guys I can show you my cloud API setup here you can see so guys this is the whatsapp's cloud API setup page you can see I'm under whatsapp's getting started page and here you can see we have this temporary access token here so first they gave you temporary tokens but these tokens expires in 24 hours so, and if you want to run your workflows continuously you need to generate a permanent access token and if you want to know how to do that you can watch the video from the description or from this forum page only here you will find the videos to generate the permanent access token okay so do watch them follow follow the videos and generate the token after that you can copy the token and paste it here in this field okay 
and you have to keep the token uh, safe on also because we are going to use the same token afterwards also in the future as well and here you can see we have this phone number id you can copy it from here and then paste the phone number id here similarly you will get the whatsapp account id just copy that and paste it here all right like this and after that click on save and you will be connected with whatsapp's cloud api all right and this connection that you are making here by this process by selecting add new connection filling all these things is going to be saved in your account so next time if you want to make the connection again in a different workflow with cloud api you can use that same existing connection that you already have okay as i have made many connections before i can show you how to use the existing connections you can see i have this select existing connection option just select it from here and here it will ask uh, to select the connection so when you click here it will show you the list of all the existing connections that you have from here you can select any of your previous connection let's say i'm using this one okay now click on save and you will be connected with whatsapp cloud api again okay like this so here now it is asking for the templates name or message templates name so guys uh, you need to create some message templates in your cloud api setup and after that you can use those templates to send messages on whatsapp so guys message templates are pre-created standard message structures that you can use to send messages to people on whatsapp okay so here let me show you the template i have created for this purpose for sending bill notifications on whatsapp i have created this template uh, here is my message template section and here I have this bills update template okay this is I have created for this reason and you can see this will be the preview of the template this is how the message is going to look like when I'm going to use this template to send a message here it is saying dear Nitin Agarwal this is just a sample name of any random person this is to bring in your concern that the order for procuring desktop computers is placed the bill is created for the same of 45,000 in total. The due date of the payment is this. Please find some time to complete the payment. So this is how the message is going to look like. Okay. And guys, in place of this name, the product's name, the amount and the date, you can fill new things. You can fill new data according to your bill. Okay. And to get this data changed automatically and dynamically with every new message, you need to place some body fields inside your message template or variable tags okay here you can see this is the body box here i can place the main text that i want to send and here i have this one two three and four in double curly braces so these are the body fields or variable tags i have and now i can change four things in this message with every new message okay and if you want to know how to create such a template and how to place these body fields you can watch the video from the description guys where we have thoroughly explained about creation of the templates and getting the approval okay and after creation of templates select your template from this templates name list okay so from here search for the template here it is bills underscore update right and after selecting the template guys uh, you have to come here on this recipient mobile number field and here you have to fill the whatsapp number of that person to whom you want to send that alert message so here i am putting the number so you have to put the number like this okay with a country code and without any plus sign so i am working in india so my country code is 91 okay this is just a sample number i am placing here and here it is asking for the body fields 1 2 3 4 and 5 so as I have shown you that we have four variables or body fields inside our message template. So to get these body fields changed automatically with every new message, you need to map the values of these body fields here in this workflow. Okay, like this here in these fields. So uh, let's do this. So here I'm just going to put the name of the person to whom I want to send the message. So let's say the name of the person is uh, Sayang Jen. Okay. Here it is asking for the let me show you second body field is for the name of the product so i'm going to ma map the name of the product from the first tab so here we have received the data of the bills that we have created and let's say that i want to send the notification for this product only which product this video camera dslr okay 
so here I am going to map the name of this product from the first tab so just click here and it will show you this QuickBooks first tab in the drop down so from here only you can get the data that you have received in the first tab and from here you can map the labels like this okay similarly I am going to map the amount so amount of the second product is here map it third a fourth body field is for the date of the creation of the bill so you will find the creation date here let me show you here you can see this is the updated time here it is the created time okay and it is showing the created time in this format so you can change this format also okay or you can just map this date here you can see we have this transaction date TX and date label you can just map it from here right and here you can put the name of the person who is sending this message so I'm putting uh, my name here like this and these body fields will be placed here automatically in this message uh, in place of the body fields okay so guys I can show you how the message is going to look like here I'm going to put my whatsapp number and then I'll click on save and send test request and a test message will be delivered to my whatsapp number okay so here let me fill the data and I'm going to click on save and send and I'll show you the message so guys this is a new message I have received you can see okay and the message is this it is showing dear Sangjan this is to bring in your concern that the order for procuring video cameras DSLR is placed the bill is created for the same of 50,000 rupees in total the due date of the payment is this here you can see in place of the body fields we got the data placed automatically name product name amount date and my name as well okay so this is how it is going to work guys so we are done setting up this automation and you have to set up this automation only once guys after that you don't have to do anything manually after that as and when you are going to create any new bill these whatsapp messages will be delivered to the concerned person automatically and you can use the same workflow that i have created because i'm going to paste the link of the same workflow in the description so that you can clone it in your own free public connect account and start using this automation instantly guys thank you so much for watching our video and please please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section and if you have any queries related to this application please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link and guys we are open to ideas if you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business please do let us know in the comment section and if you like our work please subscribe to our channel